Despite which route you take, every music producer can relate. The ultimate goal with our music is to live full time off of our music. Back in May 2020, into the thick of COVID, I made one of the most frightening yet fulfilling decisions of my life, and that was to quit my job to focus on my music full time. I was able to do that by building a strong passive stream of revenue. And that stream of revenue is sync licensing. From about 2014 to now, I've been building my own music catalog, sending that music out for TV placements and collecting royalty checks every three to four months, creating that passive stream of income, which I can live primarily off of now. In my opinion, this is one of the smartest ways to build a music career. There is no bias when it comes to sync licensing for aspiring music entrepreneurs. If if you're a music producer or a musician who has a great amount of music just sitting on their hard drive that doesn't really have a home, or even if you're a producer who can make five to seven to 10 beats a week, this is one of the greatest opportunities for you because you're able to send that music out while still focusing on that lane that you wanna create. Every quarter, you'll collect a royalty check for music that just sits into these different TV shows, these different placement opportunities where you can build not just credibility for your resume and also create a stable amount of back-end revenue. This is not just creating a beat getting at least and then it dies out every month you're literally sending out beats that can be placed on multiple tv shows for multiple projects that rerun get renewed for new seasons and you can get paid for tracks that are literally four or five years old that are airing right now to quickly break the sync licensing realm down i broke this down into three simple steps that you can get started with to really help you understand how accessible this is if you could quickly drop a like for this video so i can finally get monetized and pay off these student loan debts that joe biden <laughs> promise to forgive, that would be greatly appreciated. So we're just gonna get into step one. Take three to five of your best tracks, create a link that is easily streamable and downloadable. So Box, Dropbox, take these three to five tracks and they can be anything that sounds top Billboard 100, whether if you're doing rock, hip hop, pop, EDM, anything in those realms is fine. Even if you're an orchestral producer or anything like that, the reason why you're gonna be submitting these tracks is because you wanna get accepted into a music library, which is step two, find five to 10 music Music libraries that you can submit to about a week or every other week where you're submitting to until you get approved into one. You can find these music libraries anywhere by doing a quick Google search. We have a music library directory that you can find on the Discord community or going to ExcaliburZero.com slash free. You can also find a video where I break down how to find music libraries pretty easily in the description, which you can watch right after this video. But make sure you're submitting to about five to 10 about every week or every other week. Keep being active in that realm. That way you can start finding these libraries to get locked into. Step three, after you get signed to one of these music libraries, create an album of 10 tracks that you can solidify in your sound. So if you're a drill producer, for instance, make an album of drill music and drama, which is gonna be like a tense trap feel, or make a drill album and comedic, which is a lighthearted, funny feel, which is used all over television. Make a drill album of any type of style that you want. Just make sure that you're making a consistent sound of about five to 10 tracks per album. Submit that album after you get accepted into that library and start getting those placements. From there, it's rinse and repeat. After you start seeing consistent placements, sign up with another library. I recommend working with two to three libraries that you're sending out music consistently. That way you're building your own music catalog and you're starting to create that compounding stream of revenue. Plant these little seeds, make these little long-term investments that will grow and sprout over time. Do not be intimidated when starting this approach. Do not be scared to submit or think that you need some type of crazy credentials or accolades to get started into this. This is very accessible to any producer who is confident in their sound and loves to make music. One of my favorite benefits from this whole sync licensing realm is the community. Whether if it's on Instagram, if it's on Discord, or if it's on a Facebook group, the sync licensing community is a tight-knit community which focuses on helping each other. Our Discord community that we've created is doing really well. We've seen tons of different producers already in our music community that have gained this opportunity, who've been accepted into a music library, who've landed these placements, and it's dope to see because anybody who's consistent and is confident in their sound can do this. If you're looking to follow a system which walks you through getting started with sync licensing and in more detail, I have a sync licensing course that has been helping the music producer community tremendously. And I'm glad to be able to do that. This course really breaks down different ways that you can start getting accepted into these libraries, as well as templates that you can use for different 
different genres. I break down the different genres in television and I also give you those templates that you can use with MIDI and WAVE files. Or if you use FL Studio and Ableton, we have templates for you that you can easily load into your DAW. I would not miss our next video, which we break down one of our newest members in the Sync Licensing Discord community's tracks. He submitted to over 150 libraries and he's not landing one. What I'm gonna do is listen to his album, break down one of his tracks, use the stems in his track and recreate it to make it more syncable, more placeable for TV placements. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This is your boy, Scalibur Zero. Until next time, we are out.